marching is because we're marching for equality, we're marching against hatred, we're marching against division, and we're marching for our children's future. And we're marching because the most powerful man in the world says it's okay to sexually assault women because he is rich and powerful, and we say no way! We're marching because we want no girl to ever lower her sights, be limited in her life because she sees her value of her life through Donald Trump's eyes. And we're marching because we want our boys and our girls to believe in equality for the future and because when they go low, we lift our sights higher and higher and higher. And because here too in the UK we still have to fight for equal pay, fight to protect women from domestic violence, fight against hatred and racism and inequality. And because here in the UK, a woman MP was murdered by a far-right extremist. And people are still too afraid to call that out as terrorism. And we will not stand on the sidelines anymore. Because we believe, as Joe Cox did, that we have more in common than that which divides us. And that's why we want to build the future together. And the tough thing for us is we may be marching because of our sisterhood across the world, because we want to stand together across the world, because Donald Trump was elected, but he was voted for by millions of women and men. And we have to win arguments, to win hearts and minds, to speak out, to speak up, to keep campaigning and marching, not just marching, but working together to build that future. Because we stand here on the shoulders of our mothers and our grandmothers who fought before us to get the right to vote, to get equal pay laws, to build equality. And we will do the same, not just for our victories, but how we stand together against the setbacks to stop them turning back the clock for the sake now of our daughters and our granddaughters and our sons and our grandsons. We will keep marching for equality now. Thank you.